How do? My name is Andrew Hancock and I am a VMware technical architect from Yorkshire in the United Kingdom. I have worked with VMware since their birth in 1998. So that's been a quarter of a century now. I've been working with the VMware product catalog. Some of my close friends say, if you cut Andy in half, it reads VMware like a stick of rock from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I have now written over 130 articles and recorded over 30 hours of VMware vSphere 7 and 8 videos for Experts Exchange and received 40 Expert Exchange awards over the last 11 years working with the Expert Exchange community. I am currently the overall number one point earner in the Hall of Fame. I am honoured to have been accepted into the VMware vExpert program since 2011 and I'm currently a VMware vExpert Pro for the last four years. Welcome to Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Okay, so in this quick video, <clears throat> I need to use this host um, in the next couple of videos that we're going to do about uh, changing um, lost ESXi passwords. That's all I'm going to say in this video. Join me in the next videos to go through that. So I need a host to experiment on. So I'm going to put a third ESXi host in our EE lab. Um, but I actually found that it was on VMware ESXi 8.0.2 build 23305546. So I wanted to upgrade that to 8.03. It's not currently connected to our vCenter server, so I can't do it via Lifecycle Manager. So I thought, I know what, let's do it the, I'm going to call this the dirty method. Um, let's do the dirty method upgrade, which still can be done at present. Um, I've done this many times before and I've got many videos on showing you how to do it with version ESXi 7.0, 7.02, 7.03 uh, but I don't think I've actually got one that I've covered from 8.02 to 8.03 and I'm bound to get asked how do we upgrade 8.02 to 8.03 so this is the video. <coughs> <coughs> Apologies I've still got that frog uh, in my throat from that leftover lurgy covid gold whatever still hanging around okay so without further ado here we go so you already know by now i'm sure i've got videos i'll put them in the description on how we enable ssh how we enable the shell on our esxi host just a word of warning do not leave them enabled there are many trojan type malware attacks that are now attacking esxi because people are leaving ssh uh, enabled so basically don't turn it on if you want to do some maintenance and turn it off don't leave it enabled um, otherwise there is a possibility that you will get attacked anyway so you know how to enable um, ESXi shell uh, SSH um, on your ESXi host so we're going to use an SSH connection uh, if you've seen those videos that I've done in the past you know that I like to do two SSH connections uh, one SSH connection logged in as root, of course, using the password, which we'll go through in the next videos as to how we uh, recover or how we get back into our ESXi host, should we forget the root password. Uh, so on the first SSH session, basically I'm tailing the ESX update log. I put this all in the description so you don't have to worry about these commands that I'm using uh, in the dark side here. Uh, and I'm going to use the ESX CLI system maintenance mode set enabled, yes. Uh, and I'm going to just do that now. Um, and you will see in the background there that enter maintenance mode basically has been done on the host. So we don't really need to do anything at all um, other than enable SSH and the shell. Um, so next couple of commands, I'm just going to basically turn on the HTTP client through the firewall. And then the next magic command I'm going to use is this big long one, um, which is this ESX CLI software profile update. I'm probably just going to expand out a bit here so we can see the full contents of that, followed by enter. And hopefully we'll start to see some stuff happening up here uh, in, the, in the log, which is being tailed. And that's it. I just have to sit and wait. <clears throat> Eventually, um, it will actually basically come back and basically turn around and say that our host has been updated. And if you're a bit of a nerd like me, you can look in the tailing log here and you can actually basically see what's going on and you can see the changes to the boot banks. Um, so that's really it. 
Um, okay, so again, I'm going to bob off away from the camera. I'm going to speed this up in post and I'll come back and summarise. We'll restart this host and then hopefully all will be on 8.0.3. So I'll be back shortly. And I'm just back briefly. It always catches me out, that one. So we're just going to add, if you're on non-supported hardware uh, or you have a CPU on the list um, that's not going to be released in future ESXi releases, then you need to add that dash dash no dash hardware dash warning. So I'm just going to kick that off again. OK, and again, I'm going to bob off and I'll be back shortly. I'm back. Um, if you were watching carefully, um, you would have seen that it failed um, on a very strange error. So I'm just going to add um, a dash dash dry dash run um, on the end. I uh, just want to see whether or not that dry run goes through OK, um, because it's very odd. Um, again, you know, this is completely Internet dependent. Um, so again, if you've been watching some of my videos at the moment where I've sort of kind of pointed the finger at VMware and Broadcom for some weird stuff going on the interweb, um, or my fantastically fast interweb connection out here in rural Yorkshire, where I've got tractors passing, uh, where I've had to run out and grab my honey signs to bring them in because otherwise they'd get fouled up in the, um, tractor flare alarm. Um, has, I don't know, caused some magical interference that's caused the download of a VIB, an, an, an issue which basically has uh, caused it to fail. So, um, so just bear with and uh, we'll run a dry run and um, after we run the dry run then we will um, kick off the run again. Um, and I'm just looking at the, um, the tailing of the log and uh, no error, no error has occurred at the moment. Uh, anyway, so um, I will be back shortly to uh, to, to summarise. And I'm back. Well, after um, browsing around and trying different updates, I went back to the last two patches. They didn't work. Um, so finally, I thought, I know what, let's download the um, offline version from um, Broadcom. And let's try applying that. Um, so just before I was going to upload that via Win SCP, um, and as you can see um, in background here, it's um, well, it was updating. Anyway, we'll ignore that for the moment. Abort. Okay, um, we'll ignore that for the moment. But I was actually trying to upload the depot version. Didn't obviously get there. Uh, tried the update again and successful. Um, so again, I still think something weird is going on the back end so anyway reboot required true um and we're left at the prompt so all, all all that there is for me to do 
is effectively just turn around and say uh, reboot and I'm going to let that reboot and uh, then I'll come back and I'll log in and we'll, we'll summarise. Okay, and after a quick reboot, reboot, um, we are back. So our host is in maintenance mode still. So I'm just going to exit that uh, for the time being. Uh, and of course, we've got these warnings here that are telling us about SSH. So I'm going to do what I was preaching, and I'm going to disable the sh secure shell there, and I'm going to disable the ESXi shell there. So there we go, and there are no data stores currently on this host because I haven't configured any. And um, we're going to add this quickly into our two host cluster, and we're going to use this machine um, in the next couple of videos um, to have a little look at how we recover from an ESXi um, password, root password, when we have forgotten it. So once again, uh, sorry for the... Uh, delayed version of the dirty upgrade uh, but uh, but it is um, it is a bit dirty these days and um, as I suspected there are probably some strange things going on on the interweb uh, that are causing us uh, issues anyway so thanks so much for watching uh, come back uh, for another episode of Hancock's VMware half hour uh, when we have a little look at uh, ESXi passwords so all the best for now bye bye